Hello everyone, welcome to the Fortune Fastlane YouTube channel. Executives in the Fortune 500 are being scrutinized when it comes to excessive executive compensation. With a 2.4% drop, average American wages continued to decrease, but CEOs in Fortune 500 companies saw their average compensation jump 30% from last year to $15.9 million. If you want more of this content, Subscribe to the Fortune Fastlane YouTube channel and hit the notification bell. Maria Aspan and Scott DiCarlo analyzed 280 Fortune 500 leaders for pay versus performance, ranking them from best to worst. Moderna has uncovered a list of CEOs who are being undervalued in the marketplace. Their average pay is $3.1 million, and the total return over the three years was 79.1% leaving them at risk for job loss or dismissal. Only a few of the companies with the most overpaid CEOs commented on this finding. The others declined to discuss the matter. Here are Fortune's most overpaid CEOs of 2022. Number 1. Dexter Goy Altis USA Pay versus Performance Composite Score 1000 Three-year average compensation $16.1 million Company three-year total return annualized, negative 26.8%. Industry median three-year total return annualized, negative 1.5%. Number 2. David Saslov, Warner Brothers Discovery. Pay versus performance composite score, 957. Three-year average compensation, $62.7 million. Company three-year total return annualized, negative 16.9%. Industry median 3-year total return annualized, negative 4.1%. Number 3. Mike Vonat Sauce, Biogen. Pay versus performance composite score, 938. 3-year average compensation, $13.4 million. Company 3-year total return annualized, negative 3.3%. Industry median 3-year total return annualized, 15.1%. Number 4. John Vizentin, Xerox Holdings. Pay versus performance composite score, 916. Three year average compensation, $10.7 million. Company three year total return annualized, negative 15.6%. Industry median three year total return annualized, 6.7%. Number 5. James Laurie, Stanley Black and Decker. Pay versus performance composite score, 899. Three year average compensation, $14.4 million. Company three year total return annualized, negative 4.9%. Industry median three year total return annualized, 11.6%. Number 6. Thomas McElnerney, Genworth Financial. Pay versus performance composite score, 893. Three year average compensation, $10.6 million. Company 3-year total return annualized, negative 1.3%. Industry median 3-year total return annualized, 7.1%. Number 7. Gary Norcross, Fidelity National Information Services. Pay versus performance composite score, 884. 3-year average compensation, $58.8 million. Company 3-year total return annualized, negative 2.7%. Industry median 3-year total return annualized, 7.3%. Number 8. Richard Kramer, Goodyear Tire and Rubber. Pay versus performance composite score, 880. 3-year average compensation, $10.4 million. Company 3-year total return annualized, negative 10.2%. Industry median 3-year total return annualized, negative 1.3%. Number 9. Ryan Schneider, Relogy Holdings. Pay versus performance composite score, 878. Three year average compensation, $7.5 million. Company three year total return annualized, negative 4.8%. Industry median three year total return annualized, 12.5%. Number 10, Richard Johnson, Foot Locker. Pay versus performance composite score, 861. 3-year average compensation, $6.5 million. Company 3-year total return annualized, negative 18.4%.
Industry median three-year total return annualized, 3.2%. Meanwhile, as USO's annual report last year found that executive pay was not affected by the executive pay cut reports during the pandemic and is still inflated. The median CEO pay package hit a record high in both the S&P 500 and Russell 3000 indices. Institutional shareholder services said that the increase was made due to bigger long-term equity incentives given to CEOs. As you so found in an analysis by the Economic Policy Institute, CEOs' pay gains are much higher. When stock options are granted, the founders often pay themselves too much when they are not actually worth anything until they are vested. You really have to take into account their timing and currency to effectively compute the CEO compensation information properly. As Yuso noted that the 24.2 million figure is higher than the 14.5 million figure reported in the company's annual proxy statements. In 2021, 16 companies of the S&P 500 that recorded CEO pay packages rejected by more than half of their shareholders, a 60% increase in comparison to the previous year. 32 other companies faced significant opposition to their CEO pay packages in 2019, and a 400% year-over-year increase from 2017. Using institutional shareholder services data and the company's market capitalization, as you so found that the CEOs of 100 publicly traded companies in America were overpaid. HIP Investor also provided data that allowed us to compute how much money the company's CEO would be receiving if their pay was related to cumulative total shareholder return over the previous five years. This provides a formula that calculates how much more than an individual CEO earns in compensation. As you so then added companies ranked by the percentage of shareholder votes against their CEO's pay package. Here is a look at the 15 most overpaid CEOs whose pay packages were voted on in the year prior to June 30, 2021. Number 1. Chad Richeson, Company Paycom Software. Expected CEO pay base on performance $16,389,239. Actual CEO pay $211,131,206 Amount of overpay $194,741,967 Excess pay percentage 1,188% Number 2. Robert A. Kodak Company Activision Blizzard Expected CEO pay based on performance $14,302,731 Actual CEO pay $154,613,318 Amount of overpay $140,310,587 Excess pay percentage 981% Number 3. Leonard S. Schleifer Company Regeneron Pharmaceuticals Expected CEO pay based on performance $13,666,963 Actual CEO pay $135,350,121 Amount of overpay $121,683,158 Excess pay percentage 890% Number 4. H. Lawrence Culp Jr. Company General Electric Expected CEO pay based on performance $12,199,588 Actual CEO pay $73,192,032 Amount of overpay $60,992,444 Excess pay percentage 500% Number 5. Javier Rodriguez Company DaVita Expected CEO pay based on performance $13,630,448 Actual CEO pay $73,432,365 Amount of overpay $59,801,917 Excess pay percentage 439% Number 6. Christopher J. Nacera Company Hilton Worldwide Expected CEO pay based on performance 
$14,379,886. Actual CEO pay, $55,870,639. Amount of overpay, $41,490,753. Excess pay percentage, 289%. Number 7. G. Michael Seibert, Company T-Mobile US Expected CO pay based on performance $14,767,309 Actual CEO pay $54,914,015 Amount of overpay $40,146,706 Excess pay percentage 272% Number 8 John J. Danahoe II, Company Nike. Expected CEO pay based on performance $14,570,743. Actual CEO pay $53,499,980. Amount of overpay $38,929,237. Excess pay percentage 267%. Number 9. James Heppelman, Company PTC. Expected CEO pay based on performance $14,955,511. Actual CEO pay $47,303,293. Amount of overpay $32,347,782. Excess pay percentage 216%. Number 10. Shantanu Narayan, Company Adobe. Expected CEO pay based on performance $15,793,544. Actual CEO pay $45,889,954. Amount of overpay $30,096,410. Excess pay percentage 191%. Number 11. Satya Nadella, Company Microsoft. Expected CEO pay based on performance $15,682,087. Actual CEO pay $44,321,788. Amount of overpay $28,639,701. Excess pay percentage 183%. Number 12. Reed Hastings, Company Netflix. Expected CEO pay based on performance $15,690,762. Actual CEO pay $43,226,024. Amount of overpay $27,535,262. Excess pay percentage 175%. Number 13. Robert M. Backish, Company Viacom CBS. Expected CEO pay based on performance $12,936,026. Actual CEO pay $38,973,768. Amount of overpay $26,037,742. Access pay percentage 201%. Number 14. Andrew Wilson, Company Electronic Arts. Expected CEO pay based on performance $13,913,544. Actual CEO pay $39,165,820. Amount of overpay $25,252,276. Excess pay percentage 181%. And number 15, John C. Plant, Company Howmet Aerospace. Expected CEO pay based on performance $14,144,898. Actual CEO pay $39,091,008. Amount of overpay $24,946,110. Excess pay percentage 176%. That's it for this video Fortune Fastlaner, remember to subscribe to our channel and if you feel like we've delivered value, please share this video with one person. That's right, just one person. As a token of your appreciation, 
for the hard work we put into making content that educates and helps you on your mission of building your own fortune. Remember, you can watch video after video, but it isn't until you actually take action that you'll start to see results. See you on the next one.